Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's part two of my Disable Printing series, a three-part series. In part one, I showed you how to disable the Control P for the print dialog. Today in part two, we're going to talk about how to disable the right-click menu so you can't right-click on a report and bring up the print dialog. And in tomorrow in part three, I'm going to show you how to hide the ribbon across the top up here. But for today, let's focus on that right-click pop-up menu. And of course, if you haven't watched part one yet, go watch part one first, then come on back, okay? All right. All right, so here we are in our database that we started yesterday, right? We've got our invoice report here. And if I try to hit control P, boom, it says you can't do that. But I'm smart. I know a little access. I can still come over here, right-click, and then go print. And it still brings this thing up. Ah, that's not good. How do I disable that? Well, what I'm going to show you right now is a way you can disable those right-click menus for everywhere in the database. All right, so you only have to do it once, and it disables those everywhere. All right, we're going to close this, close this. We're going to come over here and go to File, and then Options. This is bring, brings up all this. i got lots of different videos on a lot of different things that are covered in here. But what we're looking for today is Current Database, and then scroll down. And right here is the one you're looking for. Allow default shortcut menus. Okay, turn that off. Hit okay. You gotta close and reopen the database. Okay, shut it down. Open it back up again. All right, when you're back in here, you can go to here, go to orders, go to invoices, and right click, right click, right click, nothing's happening. Okay, I can't right click, control P. Oh, can't do that one either. All right, I've shut those two things down, but aha, I still got a print button up there. So we'll, we'll talk about shutting this thing down in tomorrow's video, okay? But this will now, anywhere in your database, even over here, you can't right-click anywhere in the database. It shuts that right down. Now, you might still want to be able to right-click some places, okay? So you can set up a custom menu bar, all right, a custom right-click pop-up menu bar where it, you specify only certain objects that it works in. And I'm going to cover that in the extended cut for the members. It involves a little bit of programming, but we'll learn how to do that in just a little bit. But for the rest of you, you can shut down that right-click menu, again, under File, Options, and then Current Database, and it's right down here. Now, there's also this thing here that says Allow Full Menus, okay? Allow full menus, if you turn that off, that shuts down most of the ribbon tabs. Watch this. We're going to talk about the ribbon tabs in tomorrow's class. But if you open this back up again now, all right, notice you got some missing stuff. I got my Rick's tab. It's a custom tab I set up, but there's home, and that's it. Lots of the other stuff is gone. Even if you go into design view, actually, you can't even right-click here, see, because we turned off the right-click menus, right? So if you go into here, let's say... Um, you click on the button there, okay? Notice it, all your, your design tab, all that stuff is off, okay? So that's one thing you can do to limit user access. Of course, we're giving our users ACCDE files, right? We're not giving them the full ACCDB to work with because that'll get rid of all the design stuff that they can't get into and then make messes of things, okay? And, and look, even that's off. We can't even go into the file options, okay? How do we get back in? Well, close the database. Click on it, hold the shift key down, and now double click on it. And when she opens, you should get it back. For some reason, access has been taking forever to load lately, ever since the last update. All right, I got everything back now, and now I can go back in here under file options and turn that back off. If you wanna, you got your design copy, right? You wanna leave that on. Otherwise, you're gonna be limiting yourself to what you can get into as well, okay? Just a short video today, folks. Sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're quickies. Today's a quickie, right? So that's part two. That's how to disable this right-click menu. And again, in the extended cut, I'm going to show you how to disable that just for a specific report or a specific form. All right, you basically create a custom menu and then you can disable or set that custom menu as the menu for that particular object. We'll talk about it in the extended cut. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos, not just this one, all of them. 
And don't forget, tomorrow in part three, I'm going to show you how to turn off that ribbon. Oh, oh, the one thing I was going to show you. I forgot to show you. I was going to show you this and I forgot. Okay, so come back in here. This is the whole reason I was, that's the whole reason I put this on my notes to cover this. Go back into options, right? Current database, turn off allow full menus, okay? All right, restart the database. Okay, menus are off, right? Can't even do that. Can't right click on stuff, but watch this. Go into here, go into there, print the invoice. And look at this. You still get the print preview ribbon. The one that we don't want to allow our users to print is still there even if you turn off full menus. That's put that's a that's a note for the access team right there. This should not be here if the use if the developer has selected to turn off full menus. Get rid of this. All right. I'm going to show you how to get rid of it in the extended cut, but that's just annoying. Okay. All right. Tune in tomorrow. Same bad time, same bad channel, all that stuff. Users, you can watch it right now. I'm going to record it in about five minutes. But that's going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for part three. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, 
John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.